Hi, this is Shay with Trucks of Sales here today answering one of our frequently asked questions. What size Cummins engine should I order in my brand new truck? And here today with me are three 2019 Peterbilt 567s. Um, but there is definitely a difference under the hood of each of these. So the first truck here, we have the Cummins X15 and the ISX12, as well as the Packard PX9, which actually is a rebadged Cummins L9. So we have an 8.9 liter, 11.9 liter, and a 14.9 liter. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood on each of these trucks just so you can kind of see uh, the difference and we'll talk about some of the differences right now. We'll go ahead and start off with the X15 here. So I'm going to go ahead and post at the end of the video some of the weights that are displayed on the titles. We actually didn't have a chance to weigh these trucks, but that's one of the things that is definitely a difference is the weight. So they're claiming on this X15 that it is a few hundred pounds lighter, about 300 pounds lighter than the previous ISX 15, but I'm not exactly sure about that. Sure doesn't look any lighter, um, but we uh, we'll check on that but and weigh that here in the future. Maybe I'll post that in the description, but we will get this uh, weighed out compared to the 12 liter and the 9 liter. But typically, the X15 is about 800 pounds more than the ISX uh, 12. So in Peterbilt, for some reason, they're not allowing the X12, the new X12 engine in the Peterbilts uh, just yet. So this is... Um, the same uh, model pretty much as the going back to 2014. So it's a pretty similar engine. The Cummins did come out with the new X12 engine that uh, can do a little higher horsepower than this uh, ISX12, but it is not available. Um, I believe it is available in some other brands of trucks, but not in Peterbilt as of 2019 trucks. You cannot get the X15, I mean um, the X12, so this is the ISX12, which is a different model than the X12. So, and last year we got the Packard PX9 which again weighs about, is the lightest here, is this Packard PX9, same as the Cummins L9. I actually did a video showing you a Cummins L9 right next to a um, Packard PX9. And you can see they're the same engine, same valve cover, all that stuff. The uh, you know accessory mounts on the engine are the only thing that's slightly different. So we got the, 8.9 liter engine here. So this one weighs 1,600 pounds less than the big block. And then we have the medium block, 800 pounds more. So they're about 800 pounds difference per engine. So uh, now we'll talk about the power here. Um, you can get the X15 all the way up to 605 horsepower from the factory. Aftermarket, you can actually go to 700 horsepower uh, on this engine, but that's pretty much only necessary, um, really going above 500 horsepower being necessary um, if you're moving over 100,000 pounds. I would say 450 horsepower is plenty to move 80,000 pounds, and you can still get 450 horsepower here um, with the um, X12, but with the ISX12, it's 425 um, from the factory. And you can see this one set at 425. So um, that's pretty much about the max you're looking at with this middle block, which is fine, I would say, to move 80,000 pounds. It's just not something you're gonna wanna do every single day. If you're hauling 80,000 pounds all day, every day, I would step up to the big block. Um, it's just gonna be not as hard on the engine. Whereas this engine, your drivers are gonna be uh, flooring it all day. So it's just a little harder use on the engine. But if most of the time you're moving 
you know, 60, 70,000 pounds, the X12, you're gonna save fuel and you're gonna get that extra payload of 800 pounds. So jump down to uh, the, the little guy here. Um, you can get these up to 380 horsepower um, from the factory and I think you'd actually turn them up to 420 something like that in the aftermarket um, realm here um, but basically uh, most people order this engine to save weight and to save fuel and another thing you can do with the um, PX9 is when you're going with an Allison automatic if you get this engine at 370 horsepower or less You can get the Allison 3000 and the Allison 3000 not only costs a lot less than the Allison uh, 4500 it also weighs less so this Allison 3000 I believe weighs somewhere around 300 pounds less than just a standard Eaton Fuller 10 speed so you can save another 300 pounds on top of saving 800 or 1600 pounds by going with this setup so typically if you're not towing a trailer if you're just gonna have a straight truck the 9 liter is plenty for that uphill downhill I mean you'll you'll eventually climb to the top of any mountain um, that you get to uh, it, with this engine here um, and sometimes even for off-road applications fuel will gear the trucks really low and move even more weight but we don't recommend really hauling much more than 60,000 pounds um, with this engine so most straight trucks um, a straight truck being a truck that's not towing a trailer um, you're pretty much under 60,000 pounds and we have even used some of these engines to 70,000 pounds for people who just wanted to who get paid by the ton and you're putting three lift axles on there um, and you just every pound counts so maybe having to rebuild the engine at 300,000 miles is just part of the plan so because that's the only thing you start you know flooring this engine all day every day it's going to wear out quicker and that's one of the things as well you know these small block engines uh, typically are good for around 500,000 miles you know uh, dump truck and construction uses might cut that down a little bit before you need a rebuild but your chassis your axles all that stuff is going to last even longer without having the um, extra power going to it so come over here to the 12 liter these again more rated to about seven eight hundred thousand miles and the big block is rated uh, million plus but I'm hoping this x15 is better than uh, the previous models because I mean you take a fleet of 30 of them there's definitely going to be some engines getting rebuilt at 200,000 miles and this x15 uh, the big block engine just is going to cost more to rebuild than the 12 liter and especially the 9 liter as far as price goes um, we're talking about ten thousand dollars you know per engine here so you go from the 9 liter to the 12 add 10,000 12 liter to the 15 about um, 10,000 I mean it just depends you know um, it, pretty much from the 9 liter to the 15 liter um, you're looking at around there sometimes there are deals uh, and stuff like that and sometimes you can get the 12 liter similarly priced to the um, 15 liter but on average that's about uh, what you can expect so you can get uh, you know a uh, nice truck for 20,000 less if you don't plan on doing a bunch of towing and your fuel savings per day are going to run you uh, uh, somewhere you know between 15 and 20 dollars per day savings going with the small block over the big block so then you go with the 12 liter figure somewhere in between that so I hope uh, this answered some of your questions here and just gave you a more in-depth look at um, the differences here um, in the engines any further questions I'd be happy to answer them and we got a lot more info on our website we got links to all the specs on all of these engines and the different transmission combinations that are available as well this is Shea with trucks of sales thank you for viewing please visit our website at www 
www.trucksasales for more information. Thank you.